you belonged in this world to do something and to leave it better than when you, you got into it, if you possibly could. How does something outlive us? Not just outlive our term, how does it literally outlive our lives? Are we creating solutions that, are, that will positively build to the solutions of 100 years from now? You know, so I am not a believer in gradualism, that you try to move slowly, be risk averse. Uh, I'm really, uh, take chances, move quickly, capitalize your risk, uh, and, see, and seek change. The physical being of someone uh, changes hearts and minds of people. And, and that, that, I think, is one of the most powerful things that we have uh, at our disposal, that students don't want other students to go through what they went through. And they're willing to uh, share their stories and, and experiences. Um, Those organizations are asking people to show up a lot to like their events and to read our websites and read our material. But to really be a part of a community, how do you show up and where do you choose to show up in other communities? So. No organization will, no system will, but community can. And the only way that community can do that is by community members being able to have the information, the knowledge, and the opportunity to really work with others in the community around the issues, around um, how to problem solve it, um, how to create new opportunities, how to inform other people about it, um, how to support other people about it. And that, to me, is some of the work we have to do in community in order to make that happen. I think in this increasingly partisan, seemingly partisan world that we live in, I think that becomes ever more important to think about where do we have some shared values and how do we get to those values? Really have somebody having a vision and having the, the ability to rally people around that vision uh, so that you can be able to accomplish something. Our yeah. job working with low-income communities is to, to help declare a vision based on the giftedness that we see there. Folks can, can be told so often that they don't fit the right image of success that sometimes you have the accompaniment is being a voice of seeing and lifting up that giftedness. And sometimes you're the only person maybe in that young person or that young mom's life that sees that.